Hello, Gareth here, and we're painting figures again, and the same figures, but this time we're going to try and get some light and dark or light and shade into our figures. So let's jump into it. So I'm using just one brush, a round brush. I'm using just one color, phthalo blue. Haven't got that much of it actually. Just a minute. Let's get some more. Oh, that's cobalt blue. Here we go. Phthalo blue. But can you see that? But any dark colour will do. Ultramarine blue is okay. Burnt umber. That's okay. Black. Black is good. Payne's grey. Okay. So just mix this up in my palette. And I'm working on uh, multimedia paper because it's a lot cheaper than watercolour paper and for practicing it's ideal. So here we go again I'm drawing this figure. So when you draw figures look at them as shapes, simple shapes. So I've got a blob here, something like a square here and then a rectangle here and an arm and then this thing, arm here. So I tend to begin with the head And then I look very carefully at the angle here for the shoulder. That's really important to get that angle right. So I have this imaginary vertical line that I'm, I'm comparing this angle to. Okay. Now this is a bit difficult because it, it's not logical. You would think that his arm comes like below his head, but here you can see that his head or the bottom part of his head and his arm are like the same kind of space or the same, um, it's hard to explain, but it's not like, how can I put it? Mm. Yeah, it's difficult to explain, but it's not like here. It's like right here where his face is. It's like where his face is, his arm continues. So sorry about that lengthy explanation, but anyway, what I mean is I've even got his head wrong. It should be lower down, It, but it's like here, which is a bit weird. And then a hand ear here, not ear, here. Okay, and then his shirt is like that, and then the bottom bit like that. And if it's dry enough, just wet it all like this. So this does look a bit weird. Okay, let's go with it. But this is the important thing. We're looking at shapes. Okay, then the legs come down. So first of all, we've got one leg here and it's about where this arm ends here. It comes down here. And it's quite a wide leg like that. And then there's another leg here. And he's, he's got like a bulky pocket. Maybe there's a wallet in there or something, but very bulky. And then where the knee is. And then there's a few lines there. So there we go. And uh, maybe this arm needs to be a bit wider like that. And maybe this bit needs to be a bit like that. So I'm making corrections. And I think now it's looking a bit more correct, but it still looks a bit strange. Okay. Uh, 
okay there we go and then let's do a simple shadow so I'm just going to do like almost a shadow below him like that and that's meant to represent the shadow of his arm okay so I wash my brush out now because I'm going to do highlights and I get some tissue and um, the first highlight is here on top of his head so normally what I would use is just pure white titanium white for this but I'm just trying to make this really simple and show you what you can achieve with just a very few materials and it is also very useful to um, be able to wipe out paint so I have to clean my brush every so often because it's picking up paint oh there we go looking good and then here sometimes you can't really see that much light on the top oh and his bag at the bottom is wrong should be like that okay but you can see something's starting to happen here and then there's a highlight here and I was actually going to do this again because I thought it's not good enough but really this is for beginners and um, I'm perhaps caring too much okay so I think now it's a bit dark there and then there's some dark lines coming down here so I need to try and keep this simple for you and also it's it's good anyway to make it really simple as simple as possible and then we've got oh we've actually got highlight here so I'll do that in a minute and this bottom of this bag like that it's sort of working okay so we've got massive highlights here so even though this has dried you can just re-wet it and remove the paint and you can see we're not removing it completely there's still um, a touch of the paint left which is good otherwise it'd be pure white and we'd be back to square one again so like that I'm really not sure this one is going to work out it looks it looks a bit strange doesn't it <laughs> but there you go he's got a hand there and then we're going to have um, shadow there and shadow here shadow here um, there'll be a link at the bottom and you can um, download these um, these images and um, take your time and look at them and get it right now you don't have to do these things perfectly these marks you just have to get the the basic idea or the main marks and just do them but a little you can see now we've got some creases in those pants here we go and up here there's a bit of light here and a bit of light here I think I lost that sometimes your lights disappear so you have to do it again okay there we go and I think this area is a little bit too dark so I'm just going to take some paint out of here make these creases a bit more a bit stronger oh yeah okay it's not brilliant but it's not bad 
and you can just keep working on this it's really just a question of patience um, but I hope you can see from this how you can you can play around with watercolor quite a bit it's not it's not all permanent and uh, there forever you can uh, mess around with it and uh, change things And I feel like I have to put those darks back in again. They kind of disappeared, not kind of. Oh, that looks good. Hmm. Yeah that's not too bad um, and his ear here he's got some glasses but I think that's too detailed to to paint them and I've made his belly look really big um, if you look here not so big but it's good enough